All right, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do a dumbbell incline bench press, which is one, probably one of my favorite all-time chest exercises for really just building overall strength, having healthy shoulders, and targeting that upper part of your chest, uh, which is extremely important for overall strength and development. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the incline dumbbell bench. I'm gonna also give you some ideas on the proper reps and sets so you can incorporate this great exercise into your routine. Let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com. All right, so the incline dumbbell bench press. It starts off with the actual setup of the bench itself. So here I have the incline dumbbell bench set up in roughly a 45 degree angle here. And this is a fine starting point for you know, most people trying to incorporate this exercise. I need you to know the differences though because there are a lot of different settings you can put this bench on. The more vertical the bench is, the more it's gonna turn into almost like a shoulder press, like an overhead press. And when the bench becomes super vertical, you know, it really targets that the lateral and the anterior part of the deltoid, the shoulder, and you get less emphasis on the chest. I like to have the bench at you know, 45 degrees or a little bit lower. There's also an exercise called a low incline bench press where we have the bench more or less kind of here or maybe even a little lower and it's almost like a hybrid between a flat dumbbell bench and an incline dumbbell bench. This is a great exercise that's very healthy on your shoulders, especially if you find that the more vertical it gets, you have any impingement in the front of your shoulder. So we'll keep the bench here for the purposes of the rest of this demo, uh, but just know, you know, you can play around with the different inclines. So maybe for four weeks, you can do something like at this angle, four weeks, you can come a little bit higher, but the bench is roughly somewhere around this 45 degrees to down anywhere down to like 30 or 20 degrees. So to start this exercise, uh, we grab our dumbbells and we set them right here nice in our laps. Uh, a mistake that people make is they leave the dumbbells too far back when they kick them back. That, that incorporates looseness into your form and we want to keep everything really tight. So slide those dumbbells in, take a deep breath, lay on back, kick them up right to here and I'm in starting position. Here, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm squeezing my shoulder blades down and back and keeping tightness in my upper back because at this point my upper back is the point of contact with the bench. So if that's loosey-goosey, the whole bench press is gonna suffer. So from here, I take a deep breath, press up overhead, dumbbells touch. Now on the way down, I'm opening up, squeezing that chest, coming right back down here, deep breath, firing right back up the top, dumbbells touch. A mistake that people make when doing this exercise is they press like this just up here, just like this, and they don't let the dumbbells touch. The function of the chest is both to extend the arm and to bring the arm to midline. This is called adduction, and this is another important part of the chest. So the proper vector for a dumbbell bench press is both out and in, and the dumbbell should touch at the top, nice, slow, and controlled, right down to here. You do not need to drop the dumbbells down to here. At this point, we've taken tension off the chest, and it's on some of the actual support structures of the shoulder. This is kind of the ending point of the dumbbell bench press. It's basically right hovering above your chest. You still feel tension in the chest, and you're able to push up, come right on down, squeezing those dumbbells, deep breath, squeeze up top, right on down, deep breath, and now another thing is I want you to look at my feet. As I'm doing this bench press, I am pushing through my heels. This is very important because as much as the shoulders and that upper back is the part of contact, point of contact with the bench, this, my feet, my heels is the point of contact with the floor. I wanna be driving through those feet uh, to keep the whole body tight as I'm doing this bench press. You're gonna be able to lift a lot more weight by having a strong base. So when you're done, dumbbells come right here to the sides. If they're light enough like this, you can sit up. If they're not, let's say I was using much heavier dumbbells, please do not be afraid to come down and lightly drop the dumbbells. The last thing I want you to do, especially if you're lifting a heavy dumbbell, is to try to like unwind the dumbbell in a heavy curl. That's gonna be extremely dangerous on the front of your shoulder, your biceps tendon, and the last thing you wanna do is tear something because your arm is not meant to do this kind of unloading curl with a 100 pound dumbbell. Drop them, be respectful, lower them, and do a nice easy drop, but that's totally fine. Your safety first, outside of someone making a little face because you dropped a dumbbell. So that is the incline dumbbell bench press. Again, the bench, we can be variable with how we set the, you know, the actual height of the bench, and it's good to mix things up. But the key form points, strong base with your feet, strong base with the upper back, bringing the dumbbells down, taking a deep breath, firing over to the top, squeezing that chest. Remember, not just extension, also adduction, and bringing it nice down, slow and controlled. If you're not feeling your chest burn, you're really not working the pec properly, you're doing something improper with your form. You should feel that chest contract hard throughout the entire rep. Now, in terms of implementing this into a training plan, this is a foundational chest exercise. So, 
in your workout routine, if depending on how you split things up, um, whether you do an, a full upper body day, full body training, or if you do any kind of you know, chest specific day, this can be a prime motion. This can be your opening chest motion in the workout if your goal is to build and focus on more of this upper chest area. Because yes, this exercise does hit the upper pec a little bit harder than a flat or a decline dumbbell bench press. So if you wanna work on that area of your chest, make this a heavier motion as your first motion. It can be anywhere from three sets to let's say six to eight reps is a great starting point. Use a heavy weight that's challenging, but that doesn't bring you completely to failure. Hold one or two reps in the tank. Now, this is also a great supportive exercise in an overall upper body routine. So let's say you've done some barbell bench press or some low decline bench press. The, chest, the incline is another great angle to toss in as a supportive accessory type motion in your chest training. So whether you train full body, only upper body days or full on chest days, this can either be both a main motion or an accessory motion. Um, but I recommend you use it as both. You mix it up. I find for me personally that the higher the bench is, it serves it a little more as a good accessory motion. So I like to do a high incline dumbbell bench press and a higher rep range, anywhere from 12 to 15. Really feel that good burn in the upper chest and the shoulders. And if I wanna go a little heavier, I decrease the bench because it's a little more shoulder friendly when the bench is lower. It allows you to open up the shoulder more and there's less uh, room for impingement, you should say, um, as at, when the bench gets very vertical. So I hope that helps give you some ideas. Of course, if you actually want some exact help on the proper workout routine, definitely hit us up here at the Fit Father Project. We have free workouts, free meal plans, uh, and a ton of great content because it's our goal to help you as a busy man stay strong and permanently healthy for your family. So I appreciate you watching this video and I, thought, you know, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit thumbs up. It means a lot to me and my team to hear your feedback and drop a comment below, say hi. Uh, we respond to all comments and questions personally. And if you like this stuff and you want more great videos straight to your YouTube, definitely subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every single week on workout tutorials like this, but also important stuff like meal plans, motivation, discipline, mindset, the whole 360 degree picture you need to stay strong and permanently healthy for your family is we're the Fit Follower Project. This is what we do. So thumbs up, hit subscribe, and check out some of those videos around the channel. And I'm thankful you're here, my friend. I'll talk to you very soon.